Hello YouTube, this is iCookie, and this is my first Pokemon moveset video. So this one covers Driftblum from the NU tier. Um, as you can see, I have uh, my custom moveset here with some custom EVs and uh, moves with the item weakness policy. So this is actually a really, really fun Pokemon to use, a uh, really fun set to use. And it actually is really pretty good, actually. So, to go through it, I'll show you that my item is Weakness Policy. And Driftblum has quite a lot of weaknesses. Ghost, uh, Fly, uh, not Flying, Rock, uh, Dark, um, Ice, Electric. Those are all pretty common moves, especially when you're facing a knockoff from an opponent. Um, Weakness policy actually doesn't get knocked off. It gets uh, it gets activated after knockoff hits Driftblum, so that's really good. And yeah, so if you you should basically know what weakness policy does already. If you play the game much, it raises your special attack and your attack stat by two stages, which is basically doubling it after it gets hit by a super effective move. Um, yeah. And the ability is Unburden, uh, instead of Aftermath or Flare Boost, because your speed gets doubled after your item is lost. So when your opponent attacks you, your weakness policy activates, the item is gone, so your speed gets doubled. So, event so essentially, after you get hit by a super effective move, you get a Shell Smash Boost, basically, without minusing your defense. So that's really, really freaking cool. So as you can see in my moves, my first one is Endure to make sure that you can survive any super effective move because as you know, um, <laughs> Driftblum's defenses aren't great, only base 44 and 54, which is really, really frail actually. Um, Endure lets you live with at least one HP, which is really crucial when your opponent decides to use knockoff or something, uh, you can use Endure. It gets plus priority, so you don't need to worry about if your opponent is like a choice scarfed Pokemon. And yeah, you can use Endure first, and then they'll attack you with that super effective move, hopefully. Otherwise, your Endure would be useless, really. So hopefully that they're, they're like a choice scarf Sork. They use a uh, knockoff on you, you use uh, Endure before, and then they'll hit you and the, your weakness policy will activate, your unburden will activate, and you'll still be on 1 HP. Uh, so, the next move is Sucker Punch. This is so that uh, an opo a Pokemon such as uh, Feraligator or a Golem won't come in afterwards and kill you with a Sucker Punch or an Aqua Jet or something along the lines of that straight away so that you have something that is even high in priority since you've got higher speed after unburden and you can kill it off before it does damage to you the next move is acrobatics it gets stab since it's flying type and it's 110 base power after weakness policy is activated so yeah it's really really powerful as a physical attack the next move is shadow ball you may be wondering why I'm mixed uh, this actually allows me to get through physical walls, such as, uh, as I as I aforementioned, uh, Golem, or a Sandslash, or a Marowak, all of those defensive Pokemon, uh, they won't appreciate a Shadow Ball that's plus two, uh, resulting from a weakness policy. So, now to the EVs. Uh, the EVs for speed is 240, uh, is 204 allowing for 247 uh, base speed. So this speed is specifically designed so that you can outspeed uh, base 100 uh, Pokemon or base 100 speed Pokemon that are choice scarfed after uh, you, you get your unburden. So after unburden your speed will be 494 uh, whereas a uh, Choice Scarf Typhlosion, that's Timid Nature, would only reach 492 speed. So this will be enough to outspeed a Typhlosion after, say, a Sork comes in and decides to knock off you, you endure, and then, yeah, you get you get your Unburden Boost, and then you can kill that Sork with uh, Acrobatics, and then 
yeah, they might think, oh, my Typhlosion might still be faster. No, sir, it will not be faster. And generally, there's not that many Pokemon that are faster than base 100 speed that utilize a choice scarf in any anyway. So this speed is more than it uh, is basically enough, uh, generally. So I put 252 speed, obviously, with the adamant nature, I mean, not adamant nature, with the lonely nature to the drift bloom since uh, you want to get as much as um, as much attack as you can with the acrobatics and the sucker punch and I gave it lonely nature gave it minus defense since its defense is terrible anyway uh, you'll be using endure most of the time so yeah living on one HP you won't really need to worry about your defense uh, and the rest of the EVs go into special attack so before I actually had 252 on speed and I found that there wasn't any point in that and why not make the special attack a bit stronger so yeah gave it 52 EVs in special attack so that a shadow ball would do quite a lot on um, a physically defensive Marowak or Sand Slash stuff like that that's physically defensive that they would not appreciate a special uh, shadow ball and if they decide to bring in a Licky Licky or something like that to take a shadow ball or bring in Ordino or something like Mill Tank they will not be able to take acrobatics well at all. So this is uh, my mixed Driftblum uh, weakness policy set by iCookie. And if you see someone post this uh, <laughs> post this set after me, please recognize that I came up with this set first, uh, first on YouTube at least. So if you enjoyed this set and if you really like it, try it out. Um, please. Uh, give me some credit uh, and like this video and put a comment if you can use it successfully and yeah I'll see you in the next video